minus 50 seconds. T minus 40 seconds. T minus 30 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Hey, 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 everybody. How's everyone doing? Welcome back. Welcome back to the correct. As always, if you like what you see here, or if you're, or if you're not subscribed, uh, please subscribe. That really helps me out. And please like. You know, it's free, and it does push me out there in the algorithm to reach more people. So just please uh, don't forget to do that. But um, yeah, a quick video today uh, before I, I have some stuff to do later, dinner and all that. But I wanted to get something out. Uh, I found out that Josh, a.k.a. Key Cobra JFS, he he just got a strike on his channel, so we're gonna go watch that. So if you guys have heard of, you should check them out. Give them a like. <laughs> For real, like check them out. Um, you know they say so they like to share their content. They're like, and we're boys, so yeah, give them a big old like, uh, give them a sub, and give them a green heart from Draven too. If you're, if he's so inclined to chat. Put it, something in the chat. But anyway, let's check this out. Uh, I didn't know that that happened. But uh, if you guys didn't uh, miss my last video I did uh, with Omni, Omni Presence, we uh, discussed that Jessica has been called out for doing some nasty, nasty, nasty things to, um, uh, with, you know, back in 2016. And it's all alleged, but it was on the Kiwi farm, so of course I shared it. But. You know, there's nothing alleged about that apron. She definitely worked there. And I'm uh, just looking into it, but uh, please don't anyone do that. You know, uh, leave everyone alone. Like I say in my description, it's for entertainment purpose. Never touch the poo. <laughs> but with it uh, all being, all saying that, whatever, let's just get into this, guys. I hope you're having a nice day, and let's just get into it. Ready, because here they come, they're a nearly sight. Goblins. <laughs> and by the way, so I guess, uh, so this video is from his Facebook, in case anyone know, um, was confused about that. So he made this video from his Facebook because he got a strike on his channel. What am I watching here? Is that Bud Light Platinum? Yo, does he just, yo, he is a legit like day drinker, right? Because in this video, it's like ADD and, and, uh, autism and alcohol, alcoholic, like all mixed into one. Yeah. Doing his cigarette skills. Like, I did that shit when I was, like, 15. As far as the strike... <coughs> what? Excuse me. As far as the strike goes, it is what it is. 
It may get resolved, it may not. Nothing I can do about it. I ain't worried about that right now. I guess he's still under the belief that, like, the trolls are doing everything. Um... To him, and it's Jessica, oh my gosh, she didn't do anything at all. She didn't do that alleged thing at the Home Depot. She didn't uh, knock on his neighbor's doors and made made more of a nuisance of herself. I mean, think about that. It, with the DoorDash and the people go in there and the police and uh, all that, that was fine. But Jessica knocking on people's doors, stinking, I mean, allegedly, but she looked like it to me, that is what they ultimately got rid of him for. But he wants to like turn around and say that it's a troll issue because no one wants them to get laid. I don't think anyone cares about that. But I do feel like this dude has some dedicated fans where they're gonna be like, dude, uh, you wanna be with someone, you want that like a weekend thing, whatever. You can go out to an apart a hotel, even better, three hour stay. But like bringing her to your place and then she's touching your stuff and streaming on your computer while you're passed out drunk, it's just not a good look, you know? Keep rocking. Booty goblins. <laughs> Facebook, it's your boy King Cobra. Here, I'll put on the Although closed caption. Friends, me personally, you know me as just Josh. So I got a two week from posting videos on YouTube because of a video I made roasting my YouTube trolls, which I think is kind of fun and ironic. Because a lot of my fans are getting sick and tired of the lame white trolls making these lame ass YouTube, whatever, Reddit pages that are designed to troll the fuck out of me. And they're just, they're sick of it. And like the King Cobra JFS subreddit got banned. Because people are, like I said, if you follow me on YouTube, you know what's up. And I was just talking mad shit on my trolls earlier because they know I'm right. And they know I'm, wow. I'm right otherwise. I'm telling you, like, to me, he just sounds, you know, he's feeling pretty good right now or pretty bad. I mean, look at all this crap behind him. I, I would hate that I'd have to leave my apartment I've been in for years over some girl. Some girl that people can realize is going to try to bleed him dry. Like, Josh, what do you have? Aren't you, like, just on Social Security? You don't have no job or anything? Like, she's just going to sit there and just take everything from you. Probably sell everything behind your back, too. But, yeah, let's keep going. Otherwise, they wouldn't have mass flagged this video. Vigia. And what rev. video did they flag? It was me using the Talking Tom app to roast my trolls. Yeah, and it was. it wasn't me. It was Talking Tom being all racist. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know. I'm just assuming. <laughs> But like, if it was nasty, I, uh, I, I could see, I could see, you know. And you know what? In Cobes' defense, yeah, we're all under the robot, okay, Cobes. We are all under the robot, even me. You know, I say something wrong, I do something wrong, it, it comes down, and then manually reviews, and get, you get it back. Uh, there's nothing, there's nothing that will change that. So, you know, you should look at other different creators saying, talking about the same exact thing. That's how YouTube is, you know. If you don't like it, you know, there's Rumble, there's other platforms out there. I want to play the audio of it. If you know the Talking Tom app, you know what's up. I'm gonna pack me a little bit of Outlaw Lucky Lipper. I'm not gonna quit tobacco, man. Yeah, this this is a new stream. Like I said, this is on Facebook. He got banned on YouTube for two weeks for using the Talking Tom app to talk talk crap to his. Uh, his YouTube trolls that want him to get rid of Jessica because, dude, of course they want you to get rid of, get rid of her. She's disgusting. She is just nasty, man. She just screams of shower, you know, walking around half naked. I mean, I could see why they want to ban her, man. It's just no good. I mean, even people are like, all right, dude, yeah, you're pretty bad. You haven't touched anything in nine years, but, like, you could do better than that. So she just got what? Did, was, wasn't she kicked out of her house? But yeah, I'll I'll let him explain. He means, but 
as far as a uh, tobacco substitute, this stuff with the Nick safe and the fat cut gets the job done. Ew. They do come in pouches if you don't want to be messy with it. Yeah, dude. You know, I'll, I'll just give you a free advice right now. Don't use that crap. I mean, like, really, you're like a child, man. Like, last time I used that stuff, I was like 15. It felt like someone just dumped a cigarette in your mouth. And then when they came out with those little, like, skull, minty uh, tea bag things, like, that's okay. But, like, you also have to spit. And it's really, really gross to just, you know, having a spitting nicotine habit. And, and number one, the biggest thing, besides all the spitting and everything, it puts holes in your mouth. Your upper lip, it'll put a big ass hole in it. it eats through your skin. So, like, seriously, it's a bad habit, you know? I mean, maybe it's better for you to vape and get popcorn lung. I don't know. Or nicotine patch. But nicotine, like, seriously, is is really, really awful. Yeah, well, <laughs> featured. What did he just say? Yeah, Cobra Craft Handmade Wands t shirt. Made by one of my fans in a movie that aired in Hollywood, and I haven't forgotten that. Oh, so he's selling t-shirts that he didn't even make himself. That is moist. Ew, you talking about Jessica? Because that chick looks as dry as the desert. Tastes just like Mountain Dew. Oh, maybe he is talking about Jessica. Now, YouTube <laughs> does allow certain things on their platform but yeah. i'm seeing some pretty sex sexual shit on youtube you facebook yeah I, like like when uh you were passed out here and she just decided to get like pretty much what half half nude allegedly i'll say alleged but like it, it it was you know <laughs> very little to the imagination and like would you think that's okay like dude like and that's the thing; these videos get taken down. But look at archive channels, Cobes. Like they're still there. There's still platforms you can see that he's like nude. He's back there, nude, and one thing, topless. I remember. But guys, oh. definitely uh, write it in the comments or chat if if I'm a little bit wrong on that. But that's what I remember seeing, and I was like, ah, <laughs> scary. What a brawn. I've seen some pretty raunchy shit on YouTube that nobody seems to care. So like, I'll give you an example. <laughs> she says, yeah, like I said, uh, I, I like cat hair. Cat hair is pretty pretty funny. Uh, I'm going to definitely be using cat stuff because I had no idea that the uh, the Cobes here got a, a uh, community guideline strike for two weeks. But you know what? He's about to say, what's, the, what's his trolls going to do? Or not his trolls, what his fans going to do? You know what they could do? They can watch all of us creators for the next two weeks, and hopefully we fill up that time. And there's a lot of Cove stuff I need to catch up on. So I will definitely be uh, having a lot more of these out. But uh, such as Nail's call, close call the other night. Yes, exactly. Close call. Close call. I had to crop this to make it safe. And it like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, is that the raunchy shit you're talking about? Because that's really raunchy. Look at that mouth. If YouTube sees Jessica giving me a kiss on one of my videos, my trolls mass flag the video and say content. <laughs> if my trolls see a Jessica giving me a kiss on my video, the trolls mass flag it for bestiality. <laughs> I mean, dude, what do you expect? And then they give me a strike. Then when the strike's lifted, you know what I'm saying? And Jessica comes back to see me. They managed to get her airplane ticket number and try to cancel the second half of her flight. Committing. Well, I, I oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's talking about the uh they canceled the flight. Hold on, I have you my. They they should. Department towers. He's so every sadly possible. Yo, he he has cat. Oh my god. You know I forgot that. Damn. With all that alcohol, like, all over the place, you know, that cat could get drunk, man. I mean, I've seen a dog be drunk before. I, I wouldn't even know, but, you know, they got sharp claws, man. It seems like a bad situation. But he's going to say right here that, that, that they found it. Well, you know what, dude? There's ways around that. But uh, you guys just poor. Any fraud to fuck with her. 
And when that doesn't work and she gets home safely, the next thing that they do is, oh, I know, let's get Cobra kicked out of his apartment. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you could say, oh, next time she goes home, I'm like, I know, we'll send someone there to kick Cobra in the balls. <laughs> Give him a singing telegram. <laughs> you know, like that. <laughs> he is so, like, somebody who never has to work a day in their life he can easily turn this into a very loop. With all his hate, and yeah, he might get, you know, get shit, but all of us do, and it's the nature of the game. Hell, man, I've heard they've sent you, your trolls, or whatever you want to call it, have sent you some really good and expensive things throughout the year. Yeah, sure, you get BS, but, you know, you put out your address. Put it into a P.O. box. I mean, they have online P.O. boxes these days. But still, I don't think you should be getting kicked out of an apartment that you've called home for years, that you at least take care of and pay the bills. I mean, I'm guessing. I don't really don't know if he has any family left or anything, but uh, he takes care of it. And this woman, this, this Jessica's going to come in, and, you know, she's got her eyes on the prize. And she'll, you know, she don't care. He's got a dog collar. I'm sure she puts that dog collar to good use. My YouTube trolls have been harassing the apartment I live in nonstop for the last six years. And when that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, that's right, Mike. And my friends are like, you know what? That. I'm sick and tired of watching Josh go through this crap. He doesn't deserve it. No human being. Deserves this, unless you're an inhuman piece of shit, which I'm you not. Are. I'm a decent guy. <laughs> I'm a little eccentric, yes, but. Wow, that's a little eccentric. I like to see you on your bad days. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of jealous, you know? Like, you can be, like, drinking like this all damn day, just putting whatever you want in your body. And, I mean, you're not, like, the biggest, like, the fattest guy for this type of uh lifestyle you eat whatever the hell you want i am kind of jealous like most people they'll, they'll like fat up if, if if they're just drinking all damn day and everything damn dude the headaches unless you're like one of those people that's like you know uh what do you call it uh you don't get hangover proof i digress well, please. And then the uh, the King Cobra JFS subreddit gets shut down, and the trolls lose their fucking shit. Because, as I said on my YouTube channel, the King Cobra JFS main subreddit started off as a troll subreddit, which attracted more trolls. And these trolls were worse than the trolls on the main subreddit. <laughs> and they're like, and then and then they want to act like they have morals. That's fucking hilarious. All right, all right, dude, Cubs, for real. It doesn't take more to understand that people see Jessica as a mooch a problem, as someone you know close to forty that's going to use you until you have nothing, kind of like a Shani and Rev situation. Leads you dry until you have nothing and then literally move on to some other dude because she's like that. I mean, come on, 40 years old or close to 40, parents had stuff tied down in their, in their place so she wouldn't bash it. They're kicking her out and you want to deal with that? You want to deal with that. I mean, remember, man, if you get one of these like really crappy apartments that there's like no one out there, like no one around... No one can hear you scream. And <laughs> I'm not talking about me or anything. I'm talking about Jessica because she she seems some she seemed cray cray. But then then the worst trolls got banned, so they banned together the worst trolls to create an even more disgusting subreddits than the King Cobra JFS one, which got banned. And the main one got banned, and that's why they're all scared shitless, and they've made. All the other King Cobra ones that didn't get banned privated. And they're mad as hell that their main troll subreddit got banned. And I don't go out of my way to fucking harass my trolls or try to get them kicked out of the apartments they live in or scare off chicks that they're talking to because I don't care. Well, again, you should think about. They're trying to scare off Jessica, which I don't think so. 
I think that that chick is unscarable. She scares me. I mean, I don't know what she has, man. If I were you, I would have had plastic all over those seats. You know, <laughs> you don't know. Like again, oh, you don't know what she's carrying. And the first day, you just go dive in the in, in the deep end. <laughs> just like whatever. I just, I don't know. He's just not thinking, you know? And that's the whole thing. He's not thinking. And it, and it sucks. It sucks when you get to this level where people can't be like, all right, I make fun of you, but for real, you should not have this girl around. You know, you want to get out of your system, fine. But now she's like, try to get you pregnant the first week as she was with you. You had to get rid of her early. Her Your friend was there. That was weird. Constant police, constant trolling, constant... Her going live, dude, messing with your computer setup while you're passed out on this chair drunk. And, yeah, you'll get a new place. Uh, you know, I mean, you're definitely not shaming your in that aspect. You'll get somewhere else. But, dude, you ain't going to be the same. You know what I mean? See, Josh, you're not thinking about this the way you should think about it. In case you ever listen, I don't know if you ever will, but in case you do, dude, hear me out, man. Hear me out. I wish you would have met girls like this earlier in your life. Then you would have known to walk away from them because they are a problem. They are a project that you will never be able to fix. And, you know, not just women. There's guys like that, too. There's certain people out there that are just unfixable projects, you know? And you might find them attractive, but, like, that's, like, where it ends there. You have nothing in common and besides getting, like, messed up together. And the fact that she'll just, like, turn her computer on, go live, and do that little dance or whatever. I need to turn, turn that into a super chat. That, that was hilarious. My God. Guys, you would never, you would never see someone, you would never see, like, Renee, like, me passed out in a chair and her just go live dancing. You would never see that. Because that would be, like, the last day of the world. <laughs> like, for real. And they just do it for, you know, because, uh, like, typical Tuesday. But, like, seriously, he needs to think about all that. It's not trying to blame other people for just being like, dude, this girl is going to make a mess of things. And then when you finally do get a place, you know, Jessica, come on, I know her mentality. I met a million like her. She'll be like, oh, this is my part, you know? So when we set up the live stream and I want that chair, yeah, we, we might just get rid of that. It's too old. Well, I like this chair. I puked in it so many times. And she's going to be like, nah. And, and she, you know, whatever she says goes. And it's just stuff like that. And it's not going to feel the same. But I don't know. I might be wrong on this. You guys, again, let me know. But let's keep this going. I don't Thank you for hanging. Care. I really make my wine and make my wands. Oh, yeah. They're back together. Do my thing. Ew. Oh, so so it's not enough that the trolls. And uh, I'm glad they cut that out. What he did, he just spit in a cup. Because, like I said, dipping is a disgusting, disgusting habit. You gotta spit out that nasty stuff that's already poison in your body. Like like Cobes, what do you think it's doing right here? Give it about two, three years. Are you doing that? And there'll be a nice big asshole. It's going to get me kicked out of my apartment with the nonstop harassment. They're trying to break <laughs> me and Jessica, which is bullshit. And then on top of that, they see one of the Talking Tom videos that I've made roasting these assholes who've bullied me nonstop for 10 plus years. And they flag it for sexual content and or nudity. <laughs> oh, dude. Dude, did you have clothes on Talking Tom? I mean, <laughs> what was going on here? <laughs> was Jessica dancing with it? I mean, I got to watch that separately. I can't show it, unfortunately. And they take it out in this video. That's why I, I picked this video. But, dude, seriously, if if that was the case and then you got a manual review back that someone manually looked at that and said, no, this is not cool, then, dude, it wasn't cool. You know, that wasn't, yeah, that was a robot, but then if they if you don't get it back, then, you know, that two weeks is going to stick. So, you can't blame anyone about that but yourself. You went too far. 
you should have blurted things out. If you want me to agree with you that YouTube should say, hey, this is too far, this is would be okay. Cut this out, cut this out, blurt this out, and this is okay. I think a lot of YouTubers would agree with that uh, idea, that compromise, and I think a lot of us would abide by it because at the end, it is their platform. and We have to do what they say. And we would, you know, go into YouTube studio and do all that stuff, but they don't. They're, they are very, very strict. So, you know, consider Rumble, man. You won't get, I'm sure you can talk in time all day. What does YouTube do? YouTube gave me a two week strike <laughs> because of a talking Tom video. Uh, you know the yeah. app I'm talking about. Uh, Stop. Sick of all the ads like. Yes, yeah, like this one. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me just uh, wait a second while I go into that. Uh, I used to use a different thing, but I can't anymore. I might just buy. It might just be better. But right here, we're, we're all right. Trolls all the time. I just think it's fucking funny how, huh? and then this is the thing of it. My trolls are going to bitch because they go two weeks without content. They're going to throw a huge fucking fit and go, well, it's not fair. Okay, well, again, I said all of us other creators are going to watch these and other videos that we've missed on. And you're still going to be live on Facebook. So I think people will matter. It's not fair. We don't have anything to make fun of Cobra <laughs> for for two weeks. And if you think that fucking irks you. My YouTube fans are not going to be too happy that I got to go two weeks without posting videos. Because it's not enough, you gotta harass my girlfriend. You gotta get me kicked out of my apartment. And then when your little subreddit page gets taken down, you throw a little bitch fit, and then, oh, so to get even, you fucking mass flag my YouTube channel. And that Talking Tom video gets flagged for sexual content. I rule my troll sad fucking lives, dude. Holy shit. <laughs> I love this. I love the Noah. I ain't doing anything wrong. I, no accountability. It's just the trolls, man. You know who he reminds me of? It's like, you ever like, you know, after work, it's like, uh, I don't know, almost 5 p.m. You go to like the liquor store to pick up something and you see that guy there. And then like, I don't know, like the next day, you as they, like go to work and, and you, have, you might have a Dunkin' Donuts near that liquor store. You go in to get a coffee like through the drive through and you look over, you see the same guy outside waiting for the door to open. You're like, man, this guy here all day and night, that's who he reminds me of. You got a dollar? My YouTube fans are sending me screenshots of these fuckers freaking out on social media because they're not getting their way. Wham. And you're going to hear me do the talk. Tom video for Facebook, goddamn right. You're Wait, gonna... I he cheated on her, really? Well, you know what, dude, I I did hear that she did find something on his computer, but you know what? A, I'm not surprised, and B, good for him. Like, really, he needs to get rid of her. If she did all that stuff with that kid and put a a a, a twelve year old uh female on Craigslist, you know, for disgusting ass reasons, that she needs to go. The hell far away and never come back. Like really, that that that, that is disgusting. And it's so hypocritical him talking about trolls and everything when he has the biggest troll as a girlfriend just using him. And instead of him telling her, you know what, we need to keep take things slow. Obviously, he can't go to her place because her place is with her parents, and they're just gonna move in together. I mean, really, this whole this this cope saga, I am so here for it. I hear it. God damn right you're going to hear it. You know, this outlaw dip is made with Nick Say, which is a nicotine alternative. It's not addictive and it oh. gives you a buzz. Dude, I'll tell you right now, all those non-FDA approved alternatives are horse crap, dude. Like, seriously. Remember bath salts? Do you remember, uh, what was that thing? Cloves. And there was another one. And even these uh, D D Delta 8s, Delta 9s. I mean, they see some the Delta 9 actually has cannabis in it, but Delta 8, no. Don't use any of that garbage. Go to like a real 
dispensary if you like marijuana or use real nicotine get the get the uh native american kind, all your own if it's that that much that means that much to you actually take it put it in like in a pipe smoke it like that because paper is not good for you either all the stuff is bad. All the circumstances surrounding Outlaw with his dip oh, hey, company, Kathy. you understand the circumstances if you follow my channel, but that's... Delta 9 is pretty good. That's not the point. What could have been so bad that got the trolls so riled up? Because it's not enough that they're trying to get Jessica to break up with me, which, you know, it is what <laughs> it is. Hopefully it doesn't happen. Um, and again, why is that? Why is that, folks? Because of the horrible things she's done leading up to it. You know, when are we going to get a King Cobra JFS video or on a Facebook video of him calling out uh, what she did at the Home Depot, that 12-year-old girl, and a video of, of Jessica going to, to his uh, neighbor's house, knocking on doors. And, and, and the fact that Every time she was at home, they either her parents kicked her out or the parents had to tie down things like lamps and shit. That's not normal behavior, Josh. Okay, so you might think troll, trolls, I mean, really, that's some sure um, hubris or something. Some you're, you're not seeing the forest for the trees, man, with this woman. She's using you. And I, I hate to say that, but I'm going to be as blunt as possible. They got me kicked out of my apartment by harassing the conquistadors nonstop. And honestly, I just want to say thank you to the staff and the management here. You shouldn't have to put up with it. And to the new owners, you inherited a beautiful apartment complex. <laughs> I'm sorry. You Dude, seriously? Dude, you got like a workbench behind you. Like, I mean, I, tell me there ain't no holes in that fucking wall. <laughs> I'm sure Jessica in the middle of the night was like, hey, Josh, you ever try a glory hole? Hey, Josh, you ever get hepatitis? You have to put up with this. <laughs> it's not your fault. And I want to make this goddamn video public on Facebook and fuck what anybody has to say about it, dude. Because I can't post this on YouTube. I got a two-week strike. Because one of my trolls, after having the shit kicked out of them for trolling Cobra, they get a little butt hurt, and then all of them band together and mass flag my YouTube channel. Now my YouTube channel, hmm, because of a Talking Tom video says I can't post videos for two weeks. That doesn't affect me, dude. All that does is make people pissed off at the situation even more. All my fans are going, oh, fuck no. I don't want to go two weeks without a Cobra video. Mm-mm, no. No, uh-uh, no way. I need to see that dog collar. <laughs> All my children might be laughing at this video right now, like, ha, 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 ha. But she called down your own thunder, and that's not a good thing. People are going to get real fucking sick and tired of the way Cobra and a lot of decent folks on YouTube are getting treated. Dude, but I can't. I'm telling you right now, Coves. I can't understand what you're saying with with that with that dip, like whatever in your mouth. Like, can you do these videos dip free? Just a nice suggestion, please. And YouTube claims to be a website about we don't tolerate bullying. This is exactly the problem with allowing a computer to police YouTube. What the fuck did I say earlier on my fucking channel? The exact proof of it, dude. You know? You can afford to pay Mr. Beast all this fucking money. But you can't afford people to police YouTube. Like, anywhere from three to eight hours a day. You know what I'm saying? And you don't gotta be like... A huge pay, but like it's a living salary, it's a job, dude. Someone will take it. You explain the policies. What is he talking about? But they won't do that crap, YouTube, Facebook, social media, because it's easier to let a bot fucking police the internet. Once again, man, nothing to do with you. 
or your cow status or channel. It happens to literally all of us. What you do is you manually review it, and then within a day, within a couple hours, if it's not as bad as you're saying, you get the video right back, uh, strike goes away. I, you know, everyone has had to deal with that. It's just, it literally is what it is. You know why? Because there's, what is it, millions, maybe even more of data every day being uploaded to YouTube. They just do not have the manpower, and they don't have, have feel like paying for the manpower to uh, police that all day. I've been like kicked out of and harassed out of a lot of places. No, and nobody <laughs> wants to deal with it. So their solution is just to kick me out. But then when they go home after a long day of work or just doing their thing, they get harassed on social media too. And nobody does anything for them. Dude, why are you sitting like that? <laughs> I'm just, I, 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 I don't know. Ooh. A Kiki Chef, member 14 months. Thank you. Did you say, oh, yeah, no way I made it live. Yeah, yeah. I put one in. Uh, I know I normally don't want to go live at this time, but I just wanted to uh, make one before my Friday night's dinner just to give you guys something for the weekend until I'm back next week. I know. I think I did three this week. I know I did more on, on the Omni's channel, but, uh, you know, I, I'm just really into this Tobe stuff. And, yeah, so long story short, if you rewind it from the beginning, he got a strike. Uh, uh, community guidelines strike on his, on his YouTube. He won't be streaming on YouTube for two weeks, but um, if he goes on Facebook, I will cover it. But what's up? Thank you for being a member for 14 months. And then what? You know what I'm saying? Then, the, then, they're, they're, then they're the ones bitching because it's not fair, online bullying, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's so typical our society, man. Like, a two-week ban from YouTube isn't going to affect me. All it's going to do is piss off my fans. My trolls are fucking stupid. You would think after the main server that got deleted that these people would wake the fuck up and go, fuck with the King Cobra, get the fangs. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? Oh, my God. Yo, that... Dude, that's a super chat. I'm sorry. That will be a super chat on this channel. Let me hear it again. But you would think after the main server that got deleted that these people would wake the fuck up and go, fuck with the King Cobra, get the fangs. <laughs> He's so serious. <laughs> Yo, did you give Jessica the fangs? Because then I don't want them because then they have some hepatitis on it. Say. <laughs> Alleged, <laughs> they got something. They, they ain't normal fangs no more. I'm, I'm sure they're sick of me falling out of your mouth. Oh, thank you, Bumpy. Oh, it's three months. Thank you. Uh, just because it's sick of Obama address that. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. You need to address her being a sicko, you know, man, going after kids. And you know what? I'm not 100%. I'm not 100% on this Reddit thing. I don't know about it, but guys, please. There's a chat, and there's a comment section for the replay crew. What is up, yo? Uh, there's a comment section for a reason. Let me know where to find the Reddit and what happened, because I bet you there's more to that story than this guy's letting on. Just like there's more to the eviction saga here than there's letting on. You know, I had to go find out that Jessica was knocking on doors. And for why? Like, you know, the dude, it, he, he's basically quiet. He's a hermit, obviously. Where's a dog collar? Who is he bothering? Like, nobody. You know, he's only really hurting himself. She's knocking on doors. Like, what? who the hell does she think she is? I hate that. Well, women gotta, like, women like that have to come in and just, like, push their weight around. Like, dude, it's... It's Cobes' channel, it's Cobes' his fans, his trolls, and once they see you there, especially when he's passed out, drunk, oh no, they're going to mess with you. Straight up, Jessica, and you, gotta, you, gotta, you have to understand that. And yeah, you have, to make, you have to answer for that shit, because that was messed up. If you really did put a 12-year-old's life in danger and gave that, 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 uh, that kid's address and phone number, 
that you are messed up. And Cobes, you really need to address that. You know, you could say you didn't know about it, but, you know, or you could say it's not true. Say something. I feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. Maybe. I feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. Oh, maybe. I feel like a real man when I'm kicking kids. Oh, maybe. Oh, thanks, I feel like a real man when I'm kicking. You heard that. You know what? That that's the type of person that you're with, Josh. You know, he likes to kick kids, and Jessica likes to uh, put kids on on uh, Craigslist. You know, for Johns to you know meet meet up at her house. Like, really, you think that's okay, man? Like, like seriously, you gotta stop blaming other people. Oh, Thank hey, you this subreddit we've had for like several fucking goddamn years just got deleted. That maybe. Whoops. That may just. That should be. What you call it's the uh, ads. Like I said, I gotta get premium. I guess it's time for premium. Back to oh, it. Right. What we're doing should be super illegal. Nope. So, yes, as of now, I have a two week ban. Uh, for what you may ask, like I said, using the Talking Tom cell phone app to make fun of my YouTube trolls, the same assholes who scare off every girl I try to talk to or who harass me at my jobs till I get fired. And they harass apartment complexes that I frequent or live at because they want to get me kicked out. These people are fucking assholes. Maybe they want to make sure Jessica gets kicked out, especially with the recent news that everyone found out that she likes to frequent on Craigslist after taking pictures of kids while she's trying to help people and be helpful at the Home Depot. Like, seriously, man. Like, keep, keep skating by that asshole. And the only thing that pisses me off my trolls more than anything is the fact that I just continue to make videos. I continue to make videos. I don't gotta fucking bully them out of the chicks that they like or harass them at their job or their family or get them kicked out of their apartment to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? My trolls are fucking losers. It is what it is. No, the Talking Tom video that I made is only 48 seconds long. Oh, how bad can it really be? Well, <laughs> Facebook... It, it, it's like sex with Jessica. It's about like 48 seconds long and three days of bad itching. Let you be the judge. <laughs> Booty goblins creeping around your Ew. asshole and that's no hope. Yeah, the catchphrase that I've developed that really fucking pisses off my YouTube trolls. I thought I told these trolls to suck my fucking ass crack. I fucking told them. I fucking told them. Suck my fucking ass crack, bitch. And then insert fart noise. You know, it's just... It's, it's immature, <laughs> yes, but... Compared to the crap my trolls used to rip on me, it's a lot more mature than what they have, you know? Because I don't got to take low-hanging branches to rip out my trolls. I don't got to obsess over every video that... Mousy Squirrely Chipmunk has just donated $5 through Super Chat. Congrats on the 3.07k subs you now have. Oh, now it's 3.07. Uh, yeah, I remember you were saying that. Well, guys, thank you. And like I said, about 50% half you aren't. Uh, I hope I win your sub today. Like I said, I like to just, you know, make you laugh. Uh, check out the, the cow dome. And that's it. Uh, from a far, far away distance. So remember, of course, never, uh, you know, go real life with any of these people. Because they're kind of weird. Is this supposed to be Jessica behind him? <laughs> they make a uh, thank you, Matt. About me. And be like, oh my god, a troll said this about me? I don't give a shit. 
I got almost 100k subscribers and the trolls can't fucking handle it, dude. Yes, but I think you're getting it by doing this type of stuff, you know? And really, like, you know, I, I know with his alcoholism and whatever else he's got going on in his brain, you know, I'm sure that that's doing this, this, this type of uh, behavior. But part of him, I do feel that he feels that, you know, it's drama, drama sells, which it does. And, you know, it's helping his channel grow. But you know what? It's only going to keep these bad things happening, you know? And I just can't wait, you know? I'm here for for wherever he moves into next. Actually, I heard he was in an RV. Is any of that true about the RV? Yeah, I fucking told him you... <laughs> Flamingo fart fucker, yes. <laughs> Uh-oh. See? See? See, dude? See, dude? This... This shit is from you putting that damn dip in your mouth. <laughs> Don't use dip, bro. Especially synthetic dip. What the hell are you thinking? Like, seriously, that stuff is going to put a hole in your mouth. But, like, you know, who gives a crap if it's synthetic or real tobacco? You know, the other turpins and poisons in there are really going to mess you up. And think about that. You need to inhale smoke. You're just licking the stuff. Looking at it clean, and it's still doing that to you. Think about that, Coves. <coughs> oh, that's too fucking goddamn funny. Ah, uh, like literally. The trolls will sit there and bully me out of the apartment complexes I live in. All I gotta do to piss them off is use a cell phone app with a cat that, like, copies everything that you say. So, like, you can record yourself making Talking Tom talk the most biggest amounts of shit, and it's hilarious. And that's the video that got me a two-week strike on YouTube, if you can believe it. There are plenty of videos of YouTubers belching and farting on camera. And there's nothing you can do about it. That's just the nature of the game, Facebook. Oh, it is? <laughs> okay, so uh, just like burping and... <laughs> is that why I, I never got to make it real far on YouTube? Well, you know what? Then I don't feel so bad. But I'll catch you later. Booty uh, goblins. Booty goblins. <laughs> All right. Uh, you know what? I'll do one more. I will. I'll check out a rev stream. How about that? I'll check out a rev stream and then be done for uh, uh, this day. And it, unless anything else comes up this weekend, um, I'll see exact you proof of it, dude. <laughs> yes, exact proof of it. Uh. You know, you, you got to watch out, man. You got to watch out. You got to watch out for these clouds, man. Because uh, sometimes these people don't understand that they're the cow. You are the cow, dumbass. <laughs> okay. I'm just playing. All right. Uh, yeah. Let, let's, 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 uh, let's, let's watch uh, Shanny. Not Shandy. Let's watch a Rev video. But by the way, just by the way, uh, in case nobody did see for my last stream, and you really should check it out. It's really, really interesting. There is a there is a thing here on the Kiwi Farms about jessica and how it got exploited to, to uh, uh, uh report exploited missing children and she put her minor on craigslist her sex her daughter uh she did this in 2015 and she was definitely a minor still was a minor when she saw her there so i just want to point that out to you if you guys didn't see. 
check out that last stream. Uh, I know. We'll watch the less than high. That sounds good. Oh, no. How about... <sighs> you know what? There's a live to remember where he's wearing a dress. I really... You know what? Yeah, we'll do it. Let me all fast forward through it. It's been a while. Rev, I, I, lo I love I love the skirt, Rev. <laughs> very, very, uh, very, uh, Jonathan Davis. I wonder if he plays the bagpipes. <laughs> oh. They're like, uh-oh. They're like, uh-oh. Dude, what are you trying to be? Like, you know, crackhead, uh, uh, Axl Rose? Like, really, like, what is this? What's he doing? Is he wearing You'll a dress? <laughs> is he? I heard he was. Yeah. No, hold on. Yo, Shani, what are you doing to him? You just totally changed his life around. Hey, look at, oh, there's Watermelon. Watermelon's like, man, look at this. I'm going to wait till he falls asleep and rip out his eyeball. <laughs> Look how dirty. Look how dirty. Look how dirty that couch is, folks. I'm just saying. Look how dirty that crouch is. That's a huge bitch. That definitely is. Whoever sees this one, this is a live that you're probably going to remember. Yeah, I'm sure. You're not going to get crazy in this. <laughs> Too okay, late. See, I'm kind of dressed up in a certain costume here. Okay. I dressed up in a costume. Let's speed him up. Because there's somebody in my life, or that was in my life, that appeared to be a benevolent, uh, a benevolent person in my life. It appeared that way. Okay. But as we know, what's up, Amy Joy? What's up? Hey, what's up, Bling and Things? Bring it down. As we know, in this weird, I believe now fully, because I was just writing in, uh, I called it the Diary of Metatron, okay? What's up? <laughs> uh, Pencil Saga. I called it the Diary of Metatron. Because I'm starting to embrace what's up, 86 Dame. What is what's this up? outfit? Uh, I'm starting to embrace fully the understanding of my spirit where I, I could literally, if I could, if I knew how to will it, that I could be at the throne room of God right now if I wanted to be. Yo, Rev, 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 just, just, just stop you right there. You don't look like a typical Christian. Stop you. you look like you, you know, worship the uh, other thing. Uh, and Christians don't will things. That's like a, a pagan type other practice. I'm just saying, like, you know, willing it to happen, you can pray it to happen, but you're definitely not willing it to happen. But this this outfit this is ridiculous. Like, what is this? What is this supposed to mean? Dude's walking around the skirt. <laughs> Yo, for G Man, that that that. Uh, now I have more questions for G Man. But due to the constraints of this reality we got, we're constrained to three dimensions plus mm -hmm. time which time really is just a persistent illusion. It doesn't really exist. But here we are. At Delta 9. And I'm starting to embrace this understanding that maybe there is a greater role that God wants me to step into. You love the jacket? Yeah. No, yeah. There, well, there's a big role. He's, he, he got how you step into. It's called Shani's Flaps. Thank you, Amy. This is a, a collector's item. From the year about 19... Oh, it's killer. Yo, remember that? Remember that shit? Excellent! <laughs> Yo, it's killer instinct. I remember this jacket. Uh, I thought he had a belt in there. But, uh, yeah, I remember. Okay, so you probably got... I don't know, you probably got it. But I thought he's a minimalist now. I'm just, yeah, I'm just surprised because like, he took it out of storage or whatever. It's a Killer Instinct leather jacket that was given to the to the actual production team of Killer Instinct, and here is the Nintendo logo. I can show it to you. Oh, can you? Yeah, there it is. It's like 
in the negative on the jacket. See, there you go, Nintendo. It's crazy. I love it. But actually, it's time for that to come off. Are okay? you so about, like, I, I have this, I have that. I'm committed to Jesus Christ. Oh. The one thing that... Oh, is that a Scottish kilt? Okay, I get it. It's just still, it's just... He's never done that before, and I just... I, I don't know. Like, <laughs> the jacket, the... the has cut off sleeves. The, the dude is thin, and every time he shows himself, like, dude, eat a sandwich for f sake. And I want you to know about me, because there's a lot of people that probably don't remember me. Generic corn, yeah. <laughs> I'm the same guy. Are you? I look at the world right now. I look at the world right now, and I see a lot of devastation, a lot of um, wars and rumors of wars, and a lot of crazy stuff going on right now. Yeah, like okay. I'm looking at. And you know what? I look at uh, this reminds me of Revelina. I love that. Uh, hey, Bucky. Mousy Squirrely uh, Chipmunk really... has just donated five dollars through Super Chat. My best guess is the outfit is a Scottish rocker who has no fashion sense at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure Shane told him he looked nice and sexy in it. Uh, thanks for the five. All right, back to back to uh, ha ha here. Support that brother, and my me and my wife did that. I eventually got all the paperwork done. Yo, and he's so skinny. It, the belt is just not doing anything. That's why he keeps on like lifting it up, so you don't see his like. Hopefully, he's not uh, you know, going commando. The house in Scranton was his, which he ended up selling for. Upwards of $160,000. Okay. Uh, pausing that again. Don't know where you got that particular money. Uh, not money. Uh, number. Uh, I know he privately told me a different number, which I'm not going to say here. But there was about twenty grand of back taxes you weren't paying for. The air conditioner staying on for months. I saw the holes, Rev. There was holes in the roof. Holes in your mother's room. You know, the, the, the place was ruined. You could have taken that money that you had, three quarters of a million, and fixed it up. Stayed there. Shane could have gotten medical marijuana. It doesn't make a damn lick of sense that you went to Colorado and spent all that money. And I'll keep saying that. But he could have stayed where he was, where G-Man's, that, where that place that he sold. But one thing you guys need to understand, G-Man, when he got that place, it literally was in the negative. I think that's why he gave it to him for a dollar because it was negative 20 grand. So he had to put work into it to, you know, make, make some sort of a profit out of it. Uh, and like with this house, like I, I don't even know, like this should be the time that, that the uncle should kick him out where it's not so cold out anymore. You have two people that provided for you. That being me and my wife. Girlfriend. You provided shelter for you when you were homeless. We didn't just provide some place for you to be for a week or two. Yeah. No, okay. yeah dude, look at that. Like, he just can't. He's just, he's too, ha, 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 You know, man, that wet brain. It's like glasses on, glasses off. Look at it. For a week or two. Yeah. Glasses come off. <laughs> dude, you're such a baby. Really. I, I agree. When people say you've never heard the word no, right? And you're like, like seriously, you got anything you wanted, worked at a Burger King once? My God, like you are such like someone I wouldn't want. If I was a woman, I wouldn't want someone like you. Forget about looks or anything, but if you can't even change a light bulb, if you can't even fix a window, uh, change a tire, you are not a man. You are useless, bro. You're probably like one of those people, if someone did buy you a piece of furniture, you don't even know how to put it together. That's probably why everything was rented at, at the Colorado co condo. We didn't provide it for just a week or two. We said, in Christ, our dwelling is now yours. Why? That's what we did, me and my girl. Because we saw a Christian in need, and when there's a Christian in need, you act. And if you don't act, what kind of fucking Christian are you? <laughs> what this kind are you? In that you start talking about people like, let's say, okay, you're going to start saying this is satanic, and I love it, okay? Metalhead is bought out for Christ now, if you haven't noticed. What? 
They're in. That's because Christ went to the streets. He went to the byways and highways out there in metal concerts and shit. He goes to Head and Corn and goes, hey, buddy, I'm real. And Head's like, wow, Lord. And he comes to his fucking knees. And now his life is all about Jesus Christ and being baptized and having people baptized. And he's amazing. I got a word for Gary. You want to make this right? Because I do. We are suffering on a level you can't believe right now. We are, we're, we're in a state yeah. that, that every month is a struggle to feed ourselves. It's really that point. Good too. Get a job. Go back to Burger King. Use the, uh, the, the either they give it to you for free or you get a huge discount and buy food and bring it there. Easy. You can give your uncle money for the rent and not including the uh, water, sewer, electric, gas. And you know there's a lot of gas going on there with Shani. And, and using a lot of electric and you know and your monthly showers and everything so there, there's there's ways to do this have her get a job too online sales answering the phones at home there's ways job of the hut can, can work and i'm sick of hearing this but let's hear what he has to say i want people to understand that we had pure hearts when we gave that to the man to this man that i'm talking about gary lamont moore they're good with the toxin. We were two imperfect Christians hearing the call of a guy in need. That's a good brother. That's what we thought. There is no universe that exists, Gary, where what happened is okay in the eyes of God. You sold that property for $160,000. I bless that, and it's yours. However, yeah. there's property that I want back. And I so he's like... You sold it. He throws that out there. I bless it. It's yours. But however, <laughs> see, it's the however part. I'd be like, yeah, forget you. You, you. you said it was okay. Number one. Number two, I, I have videos on my channel. When G-Man was like, I have a bag of your legal documents, three bags of your dirty ass clothes, which he apparently wa washed himself. And I have two other bags. It's just random stuff. It stinks. Some laptops, a thousand dollar cell phone. There's things that he offered to give you back. Hell, he went to your place that you guys made a big deal. Shane made a video about it. That he had money to give you towards the sale of the house, whatever. Help you get on your feet. It was your house. I fixed it. You can get some of it, not a lot of it, but some of it. I mean, that was his decision at the end of the day. And you know what? I'm sure if Red was like, can you get me those bags of my legal documentation, like my driver's license? I think that that should be good. This dude apparently he's driving around with no driver's license, but who knows if he even has car insurance. I think this is fair. Everybody analyze this. I'm calling on Dragnon. I'm calling on Jules. I'm calling on all of you guys. Frank, I'm calling on Frank. Frank, I've been real, real rough to you in the past. I want to let that shit go. I'm sorry that like I've said some really horrible things about you in the geek room and it's like over the top bad shit so i i ask for forgiveness from him anyway i want frank to look at this and analyze the situation let me let me put it down for you drag not jules frank let's put the full fucking picture no you can't wear that this skirt is bothering me real bad and i know what this book says about people like gary this book the holy scripture i know what this book says about people like this he, we had an Ananias and Sapphira thing going when we took the house back from him. Now he is in the position we were in, mm -hmm. and he's failing miserably. If you okay, so it was free. he, uh, you took it out, you gave it to him for a dollar, you took it away, gave it back to him, and then when you guys were down your luck, he gave you like a long, long, he gave you like a long time in the one place. He got sick. Put you guys in a hotel after you lost the two kids, which after that have been like, you're screw you, just figure it out on your own, which you ran back to your uncle. And you were like there for like, what was it, six months, even longer in that crappy, crappy ass hotel that they, motel that they were at? How much longer was they supposed to do that? And even you weekly visits to bring you to Walmart, have bags of Delta A, gummies and smoke. Like, really, this guy, this guy was doing a lot for you that he didn't need to. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of the money, you know, it's probably close to even. Plus, like I just said in the beginning, 
negative twenty thousand dollars in uh back taxes that this this jerk off didn't pay for. Because why? Because mommy didn't show me how to do it. Multiple reasons, but I would at least be able to sell that house if I didn't give it to you. And I, me and her would be in a we'd be, be in our own apartment, and, and I'd have some resources where I could have a stable job that I could definitely uh not get fired from because of my bipolar. <laughs> it's bipolar. Thirty-three. Is 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 a person. Uh, tells him to get off the phone, stop uh, texting, messaging Channy and other women, and, 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 you know, clean the grease trap or whatever. And Rev is like, no! <laughs> he talked to him. So, you know, to, you know, um, he talked to him, uh, what, in a poor way, in an abusive way? Get the hell out of here. When I was 16 or 17, I told my, my boss I was sick, and he told me to suck it up. I've been like, oh my god, you're talking to me abusively? They'd be like, fine, go. There's a million more of you. Well, oh, God bless y'all. BS. 23? 23, sorry, 23. God bless you. Thanks for the hearts. We provided. We just gave it. Freely. Did you have us in your house for a little while? Being us ramen noodles until we almost were dead? Yeah. You lying on? Dude, again, not his problem what the hell you guys were eating. But he did show when you went back into the house. When he, once he got you guys out and that stank out. All the rice, pasta, and other just sustainable for a long time foods in the uh, cupboards that you guys just never ate because you wanted like you know stuff from Sheets and all those other you know uh, Wawa quick check like places. Sandwiches pre made. I've been literally feeling like in my spirit that this guy needs a spiritual even flow DDT fucking Raven style. I take the I take the fucking steel chair and I smash your fucking face off it spiritually. <laughs> Even flow one two three in the ring, G. You're fucking done. Yo, spiritually like the new in Minecraft. I want, I want my Jenny laser. Oh, huh. drive. Need PlayStation back with the PlayStation games. Oh, okay. So he wants his PlayStation one back with the PlayStation, dude. You had no place to give it. Otherwise, that dude at the at the um. At at the hotel that you claimed that he took your PS5 and Shaney's used makeup because again, ew, hep. I'm sure he didn't want that. Um, which always sounded like a lie. Like it's just these are just lies. And you gave it to him probably to hold on to. But uh you know, you weren't paying the guy rent, dude. You know, he's gotta get something for that. But I know I'm not sticking up for G man. I'm just saying, like, if I was in a situation, I would have sold those things a long time ago. I want my N64 back with the N64 EverDrive. I want my Genesis back with the Genesis EverDrive. I want my Shani lasers, the Star Wars game. Shani wants uh, Jedi. Yeah, she wants laser Star Wars game. How about she names what it's called? I want my laser Star Wars game. <laughs> Fallen Order back. Shani wants her GameCube back with all the games. Okay. You stole that from us. Oh, uh, bull, bull. That's a huge bitch. Bull, man. You liar. <laughs> Dude, this, you you guys were trading it for rent. Because you had no money. Because you were using uh, all that Delta 8. And who else knows? I mean, if, if, if Gina was also bringing you over Delta 8, how much Delta 8 were you smoking and eating every day? Like, I wonder. In front of those kids. That's it, this is theft. Because you uh -oh. never called me to try and set up a day to come and get stuff. Now's the time. Now's I, the time. Take a list because this is serious for your spirit. If you do this, I, you'll be cool with God because it will it will show that you have a modicum, a little bit of respect, just a little, for the two people that kept you off the street and gave you a house and gave free. you a house for a dollar, which then I returned to you the dollar. <laughs> is that what you're mad about, asshole? Hey, always tired. I love the way he has to walk in that. Has ever, anybody ever talked to you like this, Gary, in your life? I suspect there has been. Oh, you give me a response video for sure, and I'll probably watch that one. And you want to try and equate the stuff that you gave us to a $160,000 house. I'm not a fucking idiot. You, you sure? You fucking pennies in comparison to what you got, and you know it. Dude, again, staying at a house... Uh, that he, he was trying to sell, but he had to put that on hold because it was the YouTube plus the two children making a mess. 
He even did say in his video that he had cameras inside and outside. I would like to see them. Because I want to see what how these two are where they think that no one's watching. And we know that they put holes in the wall. You know, but I guess the uncle said, you put a one hole here, you're out. Because remember, guys, they already been kicked out of this uncle's house before. You know, this is like you, ca you can't go upstairs. Can you imagine you're staying at your uncle's house? There's no one there. But the rule is you can only stay in this domicile area. No upstairs. You can't even have a bedroom. That's how much he, he trusts these pieces of crap. These child abusers, and that's not a legend. Again, Shani wants Jedi Fallen Order back, and she wants her GameCube with her games. I want my mini PlayStation back with all the PlayStation games. I want my N64 with the EverDrive, and I want my Genesis with the EverDrive, and the NES with the EverDrive. Okay, are, are you planning on selling this stuff to make some money to uh, pay rent? Our Star Wars lightsabers. Does he have them? Yes. Yeah, dummy. And the lightsabers. Take a fucking list of it. And I want I want you to get your buddy, whoever he is, set up a time, load up the back of his car, and you drop it off at the address that you were at Oh, last. our air fryer. If you have the air fryer, we want that too. You get that guy, and you load that shit up into, that, into his car. You come Ew, you want that nasty ass air fryer? Guys, you, you gotta look at my channel. I, I, it must have been months ago, like eight months ago. I talked to G-Man about it. He was up in the attic at that blue house that he sold. And in the corner... Under a bunch of dust and, and cobwebs was a dirty ass air fryer. Now, I think these morons actually put oil in the thing because they don't know what air fryer means. But, like, they were cooking that in their bedroom, you know, when they were like cooking vegetables on the bed. Like, they are so dangerous. I'm surprised this place, the uncles or the other one, didn't go, go up in flames. But think about that. They were sitting there for two years. And then six months or something in a hotel where he had to pay all of it because G-Man didn't own it at all. Plus paying for all their food and everything. And then he says, I can't do it anymore. And she says that they got a death sentence. Bullshit. I mean, again, I mean, it, someone needs to round up all this money. You know, 160 grand minus 20 grand is $140,000. What would live in at someone's whole house with the whole house expenses going for two years, paying phone bills, gas, electric, uh, water, sewer, mortgage, whatever it is, and then um, six months in the hotel. Add all that up and see if, if, if it comes close to this place. You put it on the porch, knock on the door, and leave. You stole our stuff. You have stolen our so much, but at least this, we want at least this back. Because right now you're a thief in the eyes of God. And thieves, yeah, you know real good this book, right, G? Yeah, look, he, he <laughs> if you guys didn't know, uh, Rev here likes to, uh, you know, make sure that his, his Bibles are his. So he customizes them with the stupid Revelation news uh, thing here. I just think it's dumb that he glues this to every Bible he owns. And usually he writes footnotes in there to add to his Tento Saga book later. But you know what, dude? If I was G-Man and I already try to go to you and meet you and be like, here, take this. Go away. You know, take this. I don't want it. And then uh, Shani called me the N-word a bunch of times and you were uh, saying dumb shit. She wouldn't even let you leave the house. And then Shani says the last thing she says, come back here. I'll, I'll have the cops here. I wouldn't go there. Even if you said that. At best... I, if, if if he wanted to, I would say go to the police station, mutual meetup spot, parking lot at the police station, and this way it's all on camera, it's all safe, and you can't say that he tried to break in. Thieves do not inherit the kingdom of God, period. You will have no place in the kingdom of God if you do not do this for my wife who helped you and myself. You're an unrepentant thief. You must repent. You must repent to Jesus for your thievery. Yeah, right. Rax gloves. <laughs> I, I was thinking I'm not that. even asking for the Neo Geo and the games, which is worth probably over $2,500. A Neo Geo with at least 15 games. I'm not even asking for that. I gave that to you in love. Like, he was like, oh, man, a Neo Geo in the box. This is amazing. Yeah, I got a real good deal on that shit. But that was the most expensive thing I bought. <laughs> oh, that place is your five must have been a lot. <laughs> He bought like that for like two grand when there was no none left.
Then they try to say, oh, no, it was a pre-order that Rev got for nothing. But BS. Rev, you bought that stuff when you had money. And you were flaunting it around just like the cameos. Just like uh, paying YouTubers to go after people. You guys were just flaunting money around. So it's just karma that you uh, gave it all to G-Man. Because you know what? You didn't earn it. So it was easy for you to part with it. Yeah. Religious threats. Yeah, right? Reaction. It's yours. I'm not even asking for that. What you did to us is wrong and you know it. When you came here the one time, you should have had fucking $800 in your pocket for us. How much do you I'm have? I'm not a greedy man. But I am a man that recognizes injustice you're a boy the way that you have treated us the two people that gave you a roof when you were homeless the way you have treated us is an anathema to christ your knees should be fucking buckling oh my god he's gonna destroy me yeah <laughs> not only did you take advantage of two people that loved you in christ but you spit on them with disgusting videos like these haters that you used to gossip about every second you were with us Oh, you mean like how you spit on Shani like that one time, that video? Man, Rev, with this, with this, with this, uh, all this energy, I wonder how much Shani you to make this video. I, I'm just wondering, you know, because I know that's how she, you know, gets you going. You know, she gets slappy. Your behavior has been absolutely anathema to Jesus Christ. Huh? Oh, is he kicking him? <laughs> look at me, I'm real big, tough as a ring. Yeah, look at me, I'm fucking G-Man. Look at me, I'm such a tough motherfucker. You're a fucking bitch in the eyes of God. <laughs> Only a fucking bitch would treat people that gave you a dwelling and you sold for $160,000. You're an anathema to Christ. He wouldn't even look at you. Uh, you know what, Rev? You're such a piece of crap that your uncle wouldn't have t told you not to give away a house for a dollar. He would have told you to, to settle those debts and pay the uh, the back uh, the back mortgage or whatever the back taxes. He would have helped you, but be but because you have this attitude, and that's why you got uh, got kicked out of here the first time, right? Uh, your hubris that you didn't realize that you don't have anything. Rev. People do things for you, it's really under the uh, kindness of, of their heart. You do a response to this. Because I'll see you break in your eyes when you see when you hear these words from my mouth. You know it's true. Yoshi. <laughs> okay. Thank God. I'm sorry, but this has been brewing. I feel it in my backbone, right in the fucking I could I could literally fucking knock out a six foot four, two hundred fifty pound guy right now. I'm so angry. Yeah. <laughs> what about a five ten, three hundred fifty pound woman? I'd be like Tyler Durden. Hit me again. Go ahead, fucking laugh at him. Hit me again. That's all you got, fucking loser. Fucking break the kneecap. I'm done with this bullshit. I don't know if it's apathy, the spirit of apathy. Is it the spirit of entitlement? Do you think you were entitled to that hundred sixty thousand dollar house, G man? Well, you fixed it. Huh? Because if you do feel that way, if you feel like you were... Oh, he saw his up, bald spot. I wonder why. Huh? Is that like your fucking testimony that you found a you found a safe in front of some person's house and you just took it and fucking cracked it because it's mine now? You know what, dude? <laughs> we all brought that out years ago. But you never said nothing. I love people like Red. That uh, will just and everything that was said to him. Oh, now it's relevant. Now I can use that. Now that's ammunition feedback. But before it was like, ah, I don't see any proof of that. So why even talk about it? I love people like Rev that do. And that's my testimony for God that I found a fucking safe with money in it. Is that your testimony? Guys, make well, sure to like. Me, and I would never mock a testimony of any kind. But your actions. Huh? You know you're wrong. You know you're a scumbag. You oh, I lean a lot. Trash. You they don't it. shower. I never thought I would say this. I, I, I never thought I would say this type of shit about the guy. Because I really love him in my heart as a brother. We had <laughs> cool videos, you know. Oh, come on, Rev, and I'm in the background. Yeah, what's up, brother? You know, all this shit. Bullshit. Act. Yeah, yeah. It was a BS act. Dude, 
you and your girlfriend there were being racist towards the guy. To the point where us creators were like, dude, why are you taking that from him? From from this riffraff, this gimp, and, and, and his what's eating Gilbert Creek girlfriend. Like, why? Why would you deal with that? She ain't talking about she needs a wheelchair, this and that. She's obese. She needs to, uh, she needs a diet and, 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 and a health plan and to see a nutritionist and maybe some exercise. You know, that's what she needs. But yeah, keep feeding into Shani's delusions. That's all G-Man's fault. I mean, get out of here, man. You know, a lot of people feel like, you know, uh, that his fault would be that he should have said something long ago when you actually had those kids. Or better yet, reported them himself. I've heard people say. I mean, you know, I'm just stating facts of, you know, uh, that's a lot of some people's issues with you. But um, my point is, don't bring up something now if it wasn't a big deal before just because you're mad at the guy. Let me farm some fr fucking views because these people on TikTok, Revan Shani on TikTok, has 48.5 million fucking hits on her name. What? Did you know that? Go look it up. Search term on TikTok. Revan Shani. We don't even fucking use TikTok. <laughs> yeah, he's mad. 48.5 million searches. What the fuck is that? And we're destitute. That's a fucking country. We're fucking destitute because we gave and we gave and we gave and then we gave more. Well, that was your problem. We gave to a bunch of people and they were all ungrateful. Anybody that might not like this or might be offended by what you're hearing because you might be a G-Man fan or some shit. I'm sorry. I apologize to you for him. What's his hands all about? Okay. Gestures. I will apologize to you for him. I have nothing to apologize for because I am just a fucking white privilege kid that really does believe in Jesus like a lot. And I like to try and mimic something that he would do if he lived in. You know what? I, I at first I'm like, okay, yeah, you're a white privileged kid, born in a plastic bubble, never really had to work a day in your life. And man, for God's sakes, get some suspenders. In me, <laughs> I hear a brother that I love deeply that taught great things, okay? Correction on doctrine to, to men in the street uh, that like to victimize women, uh, white women specifically. Okay, uh, they're teaching doctrine that's just absolutely, once again, anathema to Jesus. Okay, we don't victimize women in Christianity. You get it? What's with the but kicks? No as I stand. That's always a good thing. Do you understand what I mean, though? If you'd like to donate to me and Shani. Nope. Here we go. <laughs> There's one person recently that's been giving. And she remembers me from Revelation News Time. And she goes, you want to know why I keep helping you? Because I saw what you did for others when you had it. And you deserve it back. So if you would like to donate to me and Janny, our cash app is cash tag, all caps, ASMR Gaming. That's ours. And we'll probably do something with ASMR Gaming coming in the future. When we have, I get some money, then I can get a computer myself. I can get a decent mic that's cheap because you can get some amazing USB mics now that sound incredible. Pretty cheap. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> computer, microphone, I'm doing Howard Stern Christian style. Okay? I will do the Howard Stern thing, but Christianized. Okay? Where we're cool, we talk about Jesus, we love Jesus, we love prophecy, we look to the sky, wait for him. Revelation News Podcast, baby. Featuring Channing for Christ. Channy. Right. That's it. Revelation News featuring Channy for Christ. Yeah. And the Reverend Dude. I can't use that really. No, I'm just me. Reverend Jason E. Ruff. Featuring Channing for Christ and Reverend Jason E. Ruff. Revelation News Podcast. That we're gonna do that. And part of the thing will be you know, we'll do gaming and stuff like that too. Dude, the, the, the neck, man. You need to go see like a doctor about like how you got off alcohol and to see if if it's even safe, man. Like that thing's gonna be stuck that way one day. But Rev, how are you gonna do that? You have no, have no money, no money, no aspirations to get a job. I love that for him. That's what we. I want that future. I want to do that. But if you'd like to donate, there's a cash app. No. Uh, and the Venmo, we have a Venmo, which is my oh. name. It's Jason Dash E Ross E G R O F F as in father. You can get this. Hey, hey guys, just understand. This is why he makes these videos to get some donos at the end. It's all this is for. The more crazy he is, the more he thinks that someone's going to donate to him, and people do because every so often people get suckered into it. That's why these aren't hate videos. These are educational videos. So someone who actually works for them and doesn't give away five or 10 or 20 bucks of their hard-earned money to these to these uh people 
because they obviously don't deserve it because they're just lazy there's nothing wrong with them and they should get off their butt and get jobs there's at home jobs and we love the baby boy look at how beautiful his eyes are Oh, and then more videos or more pit, uh, ones of Rev holding uh, his actual child, Gavin. Now, I say that because, if, in case you don't know, this is the cat, the actual cat. Not even Watermelon, the cat that ran upstairs. This cat, Gavin, gets more love than anything in that house. Because they adopted this cat together and they treat this cat like a child. And more, this cat got more love than the children, unfortunately. And, you know, for a lot of people, they want an animal control to get in there. But you know what? In, in PA, good luck with that. It's worse than the Child Protective Service. Isn't he the most handsome and beautiful Kit Kats? Hi, Gucci Drolls. Yeah, I got a PayPal. Gavin Kit Kats. I could put it here. Here, thank you, Cap Capture. Thank you. More God money. You. At... Sorry, guys. This is, like, ridiculous. I'm on my knees. I'm on my knees, Lord. Uh, Hang on a second. Thank you. I'm, I just thank you so much. Cat. Damn. Why are people giving this to me? It's not real. It's not real. Let's stop this. It's not real. This is not. This is. This is. This is. This is not real. Like, really. This is. This is crazy. This is him just doing this for money. So please, everyone. Just don't. You can do whatever you want with your money. Just don't fall for it. Boom. My eyes. Oh, I interrupt who I see. But you can see the hearts in my post. That's our PayPal. There we go. Hey, he's still though. doing 20 minutes of really. my money. That's it. 20 I minutes of cash at PayPal. And now that he got some donos, now that he got his uh, what he wanted, now he doesn't have to bother Gmail anymore. You notice that? It's almost like that's like this in every video. To close it like this. Whoa, that looks like a tear coming down. That dust? What was that? Go back and clip that. Did you see that, guys? Uh, what was that? You being dirty? Ew! Oh. Ew! Yo, I did see that. What the oh, hell I is that? I'd love to meet Raven in real life. What? Uh, That's it. Oh, wait, wait. Favorite wrestler of all time, and I got cameos of him and he rocks. I love him. I'd love to meet Raven in real life. Oh, oh, not me. That's it. Ew! What is that? Ectoplasm? Hold on. Hold on. I <laughs> That's nasty. I close it like this. Whoa, that looks like a tear coming down. That dust? What was that? Go back and clip that. Did you see that, guys? Yeah, yo, Rev, that's like your 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 family turning over in their graves because they can't believe you won't go out and get a, a job and support your big fat obese girlfriend who cries about get, having a wheelchair instead of like, you know, being a man about it. You know, more than like a couple weeks at Burger King. You know, they're just like falling down. They're just, <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looked like. I mean, it, otherwise that was a huge, huge, uh, uh, hairball or piece of lint. Channy and I have been in the paranormal. We, I'm going to watch this back. That was crazy. Nice to see you having fun. I'm trying, you know, Gucci trolls, th but this was very serious in my heart and I had to get it out. Love the Kit Kats. Yeah, I, we love Gavin too. If you give to that one, we'll probably get him some fish with it, depending on. You know what? I just leave a little bit of money, guys. Like, God, stop it. Stop it. It's drinks because the water here is weird. It's really strange. It dries your mouth out. I know they say that's a sign of diabetes, but neither one of us are diabetic. Because if she were diabetic, she could get Ozempic, but she can't right now because she's not diabetic. So thank you for the help. Anything you do, you're awesome. I appreciate you. But we really did. Shani and I gave her of ourselves a, like a lot, guys. All right. And more, more yeah. the same. Or the same. I, the last three years of my mom's life, I was taking care of her in a lot of ways like that. Like, washing her feet if she needed her feet washed or something like that. You know what I mean? I was doing And that. I bet. And I bet. But let me ask you one question, Rev. Jason. Let me ask you one question. As soon as Shani found out that Shani, who was claiming to be an atheist, up until she found out that this, re, this re, Christian here, that his Christian mother passed away. Oh, now she's Christian. Now she wants him to move. Wants to move in with her two kids because he's got three quarters of a million dollars plus two houses and stocks and bonds, which is all gone from just lousy budgeting. So just keep that in mind. I bet you did this thing for your mom because it was just you and your mom. You had no siblings and you really had no friends.
So I bet you did. And Shani took advantage of that. He took a, saw an opportunity and took that with my mom when she was dying of cancer. And I didn't even know she had cancer. <laughs> anyway, I bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I heard the Lord's call and I didn't want a man to be on the street. And we were pretty mistreated by this man. So I pray that you repent, Gary, and do what I said. Just drop off my stuff. Drop off my stuff on the front porch where you know it is. You know the place. We're still here. Same place. You load up that car, your friend, with the stuff that I said. Take a list down. And please put it on our porch in functioning. Functioning. Okay? Not broken shit, please. You know, and again, such a uh, trap. You know, if he was going to do that legit, meet at a mutual spot police station parking lot. I mean, he could show up. They could call the cops, say, oh, we told him once. That was a verbal uh, verbal warning. Now it's a written warning. Now he goes and he gets in trouble. Or, hey, he gave stuff. Now he broke it all. And now we want to sue him for damage. There is so many ways to spin this stuff around. So I'm just saying, you know what? I just thought of something. I wonder because they've been in the uncle's house so long that the uncle can't get him out. Because, like, you know, that squatter's rights BS going on. Because there's really no one living here at this house. And I'm sure Shani don't leave. You know, she makes sure. She learned from the uh, from the hotel. You can't leave. <laughs> Once you're there, you can never leave. You put that on her porch, and I say you're copacetic. You're fine. But until then, you're a curse to Jesus Christ. God bless you all. Keep looking up. Jesus is coming. Okay. <laughs> Stupid ass. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you like that. You know what time it is. I'm going. Have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you uh, very, very soon. Uh, thank you, everybody, for uh, the members, and Von Kinky and Von Beardo and the Nazi and Rabbit Old Bat. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, unless Coves make it, makes another Facebook video, because I'll definitely check that out. But uh, yeah, have a good rest of your day. And remember, folks, only the internet. Laugh at the uh, laugh at the trolls. Uh, you know, don't don't cow tip the trolls because that's when uh, things can get out of hand. But with that being said, just please like, subscribe if you're not, share the video. I'll see you next time. Have a good rest.